Hello, I'm Eric Snodgrass, and thank you for watching today's Ag Forecast for South America, brought to you by Nutrient Ag Solutions. We're going to start first here with a look at satellite-derived precipitation from April 1st through the 18th. And as you're looking at this, a couple things I want to point out to you. Argentina. So far in the month of April, we've actually had quite a few frontal binaries that have slid through, increasing the precipitation there. In some locations, quite heavy precipitation. And we have more on the way this week. But if you get a little bit farther to the north of that, I'm going to kind of encircle an area that includes parts of southern Mato Grosso do Sol, uh, Parana, and Santa Catarina. And that particular area in through there, well, it's pretty hard pressed to find regions that have received more than about 0.2 inches of rainfall here through the first, what, two and a half weeks of the month of April. There's been better precipitation farther to the north in Mato Grosso, but we're still dry over in eastern Brazil as well. So thinking about that, I just want to remind you how large of an area this is, because it may look small on the map, but this is one of my favorite websites, thetruesize.com. And that state of Paraná is right here. And you can see I've got Illinois hanging out over the side here. I can kind of drag and drop this over the top so that you can see that this particular area is a large growing region in parts of southern uh, Brazil. And so to see that large of an area without much precipitation in April, and we know that they grow a lot of the safrina corn there, we begin to get concerned. So where's it going? Well, over the next week, this was an important trend we saw in the models. The heavy precipitation that was forecast last Thursday to kind of encroach in on the eastern half of those states. Well, now you can see where that low pressure center is going to be. It's going to be farther offshore. Better rainfall to the north and quite a bit of thunderstorm activity through Argentina. In fact, let's just take a look at this. This is going to be uh, running out here with the uh, European model. As we play this forward, you notice that the coastal low stays off the coast. And as we progress forward in time, what we see is that moisture just has a hard time returning by Wednesday, getting into Thursday, well, returning much more than just along the coast there. As we get toward the end of this week, watch right through parts of Argentina. There's going to be a frontal boundary that sets up right here, on which we're expecting to see quite a bit of heavy rainfall. But does it move or advect farther to the north? Well, getting into Saturday and Sunday of this uh, weekend and then early next week, possibly if the low is here and there's the associated front, do we drag that through parts of those dry regions of southern Brazil? It could, but that would be the northern extent of a typical frontal passage uh, for this uh, for this region of the world. And as a result, as we go out there, we just don't see the moisture. Look at this. This is now Monday of next week, really widely scattered across that area. So it seems to be missing it. We stitch that all together, and what you end up with is a week two pattern that favors just as much drier conditions. The wetter conditions to the north, this is largely due to the progression of the MJO, which is the most dominant tropical mode right now. And that MJO is stuck around here in phase 7 for a while, but is forecast to come out into phase 8 and over into phase 1. And again, that's the most dominant signal we've seen from the MJO, uh, especially over here in the Western Hemisphere near Africa, uh, in a very long time. So we start to think what that does, and, and generally this time of year it tends to produce wetter conditions farther to the north. And that's why when we look out there into week two, we continue to see drier in southern Brazil and wetter much farther to the north in Brazil's eastern and northern growing areas. Last question is, does it last? Latest European update. Now, this came out on Friday. They released every uh, Tuesday and Friday. This is the entire month of May currently being forecast by the European model. Now, I will tell you that the dry bias that's here in the next couple weeks is being carried forward. And the wetter conditions to the south, again, this is the moisture we see here in the next 10 days being carried forward in the forecast. But my concern is, does this area return adequate moisture at some point before the monsoon shuts down uh, to, to help the crop out in that region? So we'll watch it. I'll report back to you again on Thursday, okay? Appreciate your attention. Have a good rest of your week, and we'll talk to you then.